What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Matt here and today we're going to check out the latest plugin from Native Instruments, Glaze. Recorded with a diverse range of live vocalists, it can do upfront vocal duties on lustrous pop and silky smooth R&B, as well as processed melodics for hip hop and trap trickery. New riff and run presets let you create original vocal runs by combining chop samples mapped to a scale, and preset macros make it quick and easy to add a little extra seasoning to your licks. Glaze delivers glossy vocal vibes on tap. Explore 148 presets from wide stacked vocal cords and pads to leads, bass timbres, and more. First, let's check out some of these previews. All right, before we get started with the track, I'm gonna do a quick overview of the plugin's menus. This is pretty much the same across all the Play Series instruments. The main page of the instrument gives you a simple interface designed to help you focus on playing. Quickly tweak sounds using the six assignable macro knobs. The sound editor page lets you modify the individual sound sources A and B, giving you access to tuning, filters, panning, and envelopes. Customize the effects chains of any preset with the effects editor. Quickly swap out effects using the drop down menu or change the order via drag and drop. Generate ideas with the flexible 16 step sequencer. You can also modulate up to six assignable macros such as a filter or distortion. Assigning macros is super simple. Click the dot above the macro and then click the knob to assign it. Edit the assigned macro controls, control parameter ranges, change macro mappings, and create your own custom controls from one dedicated page. The colored macro dots give you visual feedback on your mappings for maximum ease of use. Customize the instrument your way from the settings page. Edit key ranges, adjust velocity curves, and more. Cool, now you got the layout of the plugin. Let's build a quick beat and machine, explore glaze for some melodies, and then we'll throw some vocals on top. Got the drums in there, let's jump over to Glaze and throw a melody on top. This is one of the presets that lets you do vocal runs within a chord. Let's check this out. Got the melody in there, let's quantize it, set all the velocity to the same value, we'll repeat it four times, and turn it down just a little bit. Now, let's mess with some of the macros. I really like that you can adjust a few macro knobs and turn it into your own sound. Now that we have that in there, let's load another instance of Glaze and find a cool pluck for our lead melody. I like this one because it has a little distortion to it. I just want to make the reverb a little longer. I'm gonna go to the effects tab, turn up the time and the size, and also turn up the wetness on the reverb. Perfect, let's record a melody. Sounds 
So same thing here, I'm just gonna quantize all the notes, set the velocity to the same value, and turn it down a little bit. Back on machine, let's add some 808. Bass sounds good. Now let's check out some of these vocal samples. What up, no? Through the stones in the lands of the Ray Ban. Let's play it all back. All right, thanks for watching. That's Glaze, and if you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Check it out at nativeinstruments.com.